It really is one of those touchstones of what it means to be Canadian. The whole mythology of Wayne Gretzky learning on the backyard rink that his dad built for him. And it's just, I think, something that Canadians do and cherish very much. You know, flooding the backyard and going for a skate is a great way to, uh, to spend the winter. The fact that people can use something that they're passionate about, like outdoor rinks, and uh, contribute to a scientific project, I think that people find that very um, exciting and interesting to be a part of. We're born scientists, and there's no reason that it shouldn't be a normal part of our life and that we shouldn't enjoy it. RinkWatch is a pretty simple website to, to navigate. If you have a rink in your neighborhood, an outdoor rink that you uh, skate on regularly, pin its location on our interactive map and then come back on a regular basis and report if you could skate or not based on the weather conditions. People might be a little bit surprised that a project like RinkWatch would come out of a faculty of arts. We've made environmental research a priority here so that we're contributing to the broader conversation in Canada and internationally about how the natural environment is important to our quality of life and how some of the things that we're doing have impacts on the natural environment as well. The great thing about citizen science for data collection is that we have a wider reach and we have more people involved and we have more data volume. For a given area, we may have one weather station at the airport, but we may have 500 rinks. And so the very fine scale spatial resolution variation in temperature is what we can start to resolve by using this rink data. We see this as a starting point and not as a finishing point. And so in the coming years here at the Laurier Faculty of Arts and in the Department of Geography and Environmental Studies, what we want to do is to build uh, an ethos across Canada and across North America that all of us are scientists and we all need to pull together.